Welcome to the Ocean Race Summit Europe. I'm Danny Washington, your host for today. It's an honor to be here with you. I'm a TV presenter and science communicator originally from sunny Miami, Florida. I began my journey studying marine biology in college and transitioned into sharing stories about science and STEM subjects on national television. Much of my work has also focused on elevating youth leadership in ocean conservation. We were supposed to be streaming live from Brussels and meeting some of our speakers in person, but like many of you, we've had to adapt and adjust to the changing circumstances, just like the ocean racers who inspire us so much. So although I'm streaming live from Los Angeles, California, I'm delighted to still be able to connect virtually with all of our esteemed lineup of speakers who will be sharing their insights and solutions to help protect the ocean. The benefit of making this a virtual summit is that we can have more people join us from across the world, making the event more inclusive and far reaching. A big welcome to everyone and a special warm welcome to those of you from our European host cities where the Ocean Race Europe has been stopping over the last few weeks. It's been a very exciting race and we'll definitely speak about that soon. First, I wanna make sure you're comfortable on our new events platform and can easily navigate. Be sure to make the event full screen so that you can get the best viewing experience. Hopefully, you already had a chance to do some online networking. If not, there will be an opportunity after the event for one-on-one -on -one chats, virtual meetings, or group meetings. The Race with Purpose team and I are also available after the event, so make sure you connect with us. Open the live event chat at the bottom of your screen to talk with everyone at the summit. We'll be posting links, polls, and more information about our different topics, so check them out. This is our fourth summit in the, our current series following Newport and The Hague last year and Genoa in 2019. We have previously discussed nature's rights and the notion of giving the ocean rights and we'll continue exploring this throughout the series. And in the upcoming summits from 2021 to 2023, we'll be exploring ocean governance, the nexus of ocean and climate and ocean protection as well as a fantastic lineup of speakers, we have eight action labs in which we'll break into groups to take a deep dive into different issues relating to ocean health. Facilitated by experts in these fields, it's your chance to add your insights to help catalyze ocean protection. I hosted the most recent summer in Newport last September, and based on that experience, we should be in for some really inspiring conversations. And throughout today's summit, we will hear from mayors from the, Euro the Ocean Race Europe's host cities that are committing to initiatives to help protect the ocean. Both the summits and Relay for Nature are helping to catalyze action in the places it visits. I'm here today with Race Chairman Ra Richard Brissius and the EU Commissioner for the Environment, Ocean and Fisheries and Patron for the Ocean Race Europe, Virginius Sinkevigius. Commissioner, thank you for joining us today. We're really looking forward to speaking with you throughout the event to discuss all things ocean and your insights and plans for a better ocean governance in the EU. Thank you very much for having me. And of course, it's, it's a, pliver, a privilege and, and, and pleasure to, to join the discussions today. And I'm looking forward at uh, another unique chance, I would say, that to dive, deep, uh, dive deeper in, into, into our oceans and um, underline the importance and the importance, first of all, that they are our formale when we speak about uh, climate change and fight against climate change. Yes, and Richard, I'm thrilled to see you again. It's really hard to believe how fast time has flown by since our time together last year at the Newport Summit. So it's yeah, wonderful hi, to see both of you today. <laughs> it's so great to see both of you. So we know things are quite busy on your end, so thanks again for making time in your schedule to join us. This summit is linked with the inaugural edition of the Ocean Race Europe, which is finishing this week. The Ocean Race wanted to highlight the potential Europe has in leading the way in ocean health. I'd like to begin with hearing from Richard. So Richard, the Ocean Race is racing with purpose. What's that about? Well, again, thanks again, Danny, and thank you, Commissioner. It's just outstanding to be here with you today. And, and as you know, the Ocean Race around the world is the ultimate test of a team. And there are less people that have done this race than 
the amount of people have actually climbed to the top of Mount Everest to give an indication. And as a sailor in the ocean race, you get this special bond to the ocean and you care for the ocean and you respect the ocean. And the purpose of the ocean race is to unite people to achieve the extraordinary and to contribute to a healthier ocean and planet. And we call our program Racing with Purpose. Super. And, and now you have a new race around Europe. Yeah, we do. And, and actually right here behind me in the great port of Alicante, it was filled with 12 race boats and the best race crews from around the world from around 30 countries just the, the last weekend. And those teams are now racing on the final leg of the Ocean Race Europe. And there is a big battle going out, out the, on in the Mediterranean for the podium position. And, and the Ocean Race Europe is a new race to unite Europe and to bring sailors together who have extraordinary ambitions. And, and I've learned that truly great achievements are the result of people with great ambitions working together in teams and networks towards a clear goal. And that goes for sailing and it goes for life. So, so the question what inspired us to do the Ocean Race Europe is the knowledge about what a team can achieve. And, and, and early on in the pandemics, we uh, realized that Europe has a powerful global role to play as the commissioner is very, is, is very central to, for the ocean, I should add. And we wanted to do, do our bit to this. So we decided let's try to team up with European leaders. And today, some of the greatest of those you will meet. And, and I would say that was the birth of what is now the Ocean Race Europe. Well, I feel extremely honored to be on this journey with the Ocean Race for the series of summits up until 2023. But Richard, what is the ultimate goal? Yeah, Danny, I'm also honored and fortunate, I feel, every day to be on this journey. But as in sport, it is really our duty to always do our best on this journey when we have this opportunity. And in sport, we really like fair play and we like fair rules and we see that we probably need a fair rule book for the high seas. We need even sharper governance and ocean management. So that is our goal. And, and, and our planet really needs us, all of us, to place the UN Sustainable Development Goal 14, life below water, at the top of the global climate and biodiversity agenda. And if you ask me, the ocean still receives far too little attention from world leaders. But Together with us here today, we have an incredible gathering of experts and organizations from around the world, all driving for better ocean protection and governance. And many have worked for years and decades for the oceans and done extraordinary things. And we want to join forces, work together with you, and look at the idea of what we call a universal declaration of ocean rights. And could that be the action needed to protect the ocean also beyond 2030? Yes, and beyond the actual ocean race, I understand there's another race, or should I say relay, taking place that you're involved in. Am I correct? Yeah, that's right. It's another one. And it, it, it's, we're definitely in the race for the ocean. And this we call the relay for nature. And it's inspired by a torch relay, I would say, and this nature's baton. It's passed from sailor to sailor on boats and also on shore, visiting stopovers and gathering messages of urgency, calling on world leaders to radically increase ambitions and actions for the ocean, for biodiversity and for climate change. And the nature's baton and the relay for nature arrives with the fleet to Genoa tomorrow. And we all acknowledge that this is a critical moment and this decade of action that we have ahead of us is really here now. So it's time to act and we are bringing the nature's baton and the messages it collects onwards to the IUC, uh, IUCN Congress in Marseille, to the COP26 in Glasgow and continue. That's the relay for nature. Well, it is a critical time indeed, Richard. And Commissioner, you were also involved in the relay, correct? Yes, uh, absolutely. I was one of the, the first baton holders uh, to join uh, Richard in, 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 in uh, Klaipeda in Lithuania. Uh, of course, I, I, I was very proud and, 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 and I'm also, also delighted to be the patron of, of the Ocean Race uh, Europe. Uh, 
uh, I think it's a good opportunity to, to, to send uh, the message through uh, to show that uh, oceans is, is, is a common good which we all care about. It's not only about scientists or enver uh, environmentalists. It's every European citizen who, who, who value oceans. And, and of course, when this message is also sent very clearly by, by people who, who does sports, who compete, uh, I think it's, it, it adds additional power. Yes, it does. So, Commissioner, with the EU having one of the largest ocean territories, I'm sure protecting it is a big undertaking. But before we get into the practicalities and plans, I'd really like to ask you, what's your personal connection with the ocean? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm Lithuanian and, you know, we have only 99 kilometers of, of, of the ocean shore. So you value every inch of it. And, and if, you know, you look back probably as a child, first of all, I, I, I perceived it as a, as a place where I connect my best memories every summer going uh, by, by the seaside and, 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 and spending, spending holidays there. Then I became a, a, a minister of economy and I suddenly realized how important spot is uh, actually our clay at the port and, and what it really brings. Then I went deeper into really understanding that, that culturally and historically it was a gate of which, which shaped Lithuania as it is now. And, and, and finally now, of course, as a, as a, as a commissioner responsible uh, for oceans, I have a very clear, clear duty um, to make sure that, that, that we advance, we leave oceans cleaner, healthier uh, for future generations, and that oceans and, and, and their ecosystems, uh, they, 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 they serve uh, and, 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 and provide us with, with, with invaluable um, uh, support as, as regards of the climate change issues. Yes, and speaking of future generations, I understand that you have a young son that also loves to spend time in the ocean. What type of future do you envision for him and this new generation? And what are you hoping the state of the ocean will be when your son grows up? Probably that's the most important uh, where, where, where I should start. That, that, that uh, my, my, my firm duty is, is to make sure that this planet is habitable and, and the oceans are clean and healthy. But I'm very proud of, 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 of our young generations because uh, they really do and, and, and understand things which took us some time to, to, to realize. And, and already today, you know, uh, my son is usually shocked when, we see, when he sees someone on the beach using a, a, a plastic straw, for example. Uh, he will always pick up a, a, a trash on the beach and, 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 and will, won't understand the reason why someone could leave it. So I think we have a, a, a great generation coming up who, who will love uh, the oceans and, 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 and will do utmost. But we have to make sure uh, that, that we leave them, uh, we leave to them, uh, them clean and that they could enjoy those beauty of, of the oceans, like a, a, a coral reefs uh, and, 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 and so on. Yes, definitely. Well, thank you, Commissioner, and thank you, Richard. We'll see you both again shortly. Thank you.